Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about web developer interview questions. Alright so all of you that you are so curious how is actually a web developer interview uh, this is the video for you because I have been in so many interviews throughout my web developer career that um, I kind of <laughs> noticed that there is a um, uh, a common pattern in there that uh, they kind of repeat the same questions and in the same way all the time so um, yeah in this video I'm gonna talk about more about the social skill questions so the kind of questions that they ask you to get to know a little bit more about you and if you are the right fit for the company or not um, so uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna start like like in the beginning of the web developer interview um, kind of question that they, they ask in the beginning and how they end it and I'm gonna give you my own opinion about what what kind of things uh, you should say or should answer um, <laughs> I might be wrong or not but this is like my own opinion and it, it has worked out for me in the past and uh, I've been asking as well when, when I get a new job or with new people I always ask what kind of answers you should give and uh, yeah this is all my, my opinion and like say based upon my previous experience so okay let's let's start with this so um, when you are in an in a interview Obviously, you, you should uh, look people like right into the eyes and smile, you know, be positive uh, to, 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 to transmit some good vibes um, so they can see like, okay, this is like a positive person. Give them a, a good handshake, a firm handshake. Don't give, <laughs> don't give like this kind of handshake that your hand is like uh, almost dying. I had like some couple of colleagues in the university that uh, they were giving um, handshakes that uh, all, the head is almost not holding anything. Th this doesn't transmit any confidence, okay? First thing, you have to give a good handshake, a strong and firm, robust handshake and look people into the eyes and um, just smile and transmit positiveness, confidence. This is like a good step to start out. And um, yeah, usually the, the, the interview starts out by, um, by the people who are in there and introducing themselves, like who they are and uh, whatever, like their role. And um, they usually ask, okay, tell me a little bit about yourself, introduce yourself. So this question in here is basically uh, for... Um, you know, they, they will ask you, oh, tell me, tell me your story, tell me a little bit about yourself. This is not uh, for you to go in there and tell them, oh, um, I have a dog, I have two cats, <laughs> I like to go to the gym. No, basically what they want to know in this kind of question is, how did you got into web development? Uh, and what, what kind of things have you been doing? Uh, for example, I, I've told them in, in my situation that um, I, was, I was studying in the University Civil Engineering and I, I discovered that maybe this was not like really the thing that I wanted to do for the rest of my life and I discovered by, by coincidence web development and I really enjoyed it and I started to do it for fun because I didn't know I could get a job on it um, and yeah, I started to work on it, building projects, and uh, basically that's how I got into web development. So this is like the kind of story that they want to know. It's like, what's your motivation for you to get into web development? How did you got in there? Um, <laughs> because uh, all of these kind of things, it, it counts in the end. So this this is one, one of the questions that they usually start off, you know, just tell them how you got in there. Um, and usually it's like followed by, okay, uh, well, what what kind of projects have you been working on? Uh, so this is just to know, for example, what, okay, if you have been learning uh, web development, if, if you really like this, what, what kind of projects have you been working on? Because if you are someone who is really passionate about this, most likely you have been practicing doing something by yourself. 
uh, building some kind of website for your neighbor, for your friend or whatever. Um, and most likely if you have these kind of projects that you should have on your portfolio, it's easy for you to guide them through. Look, this is what I, I have built. Uh, this is what I have done and um, things, things like this. Um, so they will after probably ask you uh, something like this. Uh, t tell me what, since you were working like on a project or something, what was like your main struggle, your main difficulties in this and how did you overcome them? So this is another question that uh, they want to know if you have any, uh, any problem, any, any challenge during a project, um, what, what kind of challenge was it and how did you solve them? Because this is like really important because in a company you will be like every day challenged with, with many, with many uh, obstacles all the time. Every day, a junior developer, a senior developer, we all have challenges every day. There is like some kind of problem, a bug or something that we can't solve. And we, we have to try to solve it somehow. So, uh, for example, I remember that uh, I had a, a problem that when I was um, doing this kind of uh, Udacity Nano degree, I was doing a project that it was uh, like a 2D game. And at the time that JavaScript, the JavaScript that I know was really basic and that project was requiring a lot of JavaScript uh, knowledge, a bit more than usual. So this was like a huge challenge for me and it was not easy and how I overcome it was really um, just I bought some, some books. Uh, that I, I usually recommend on my um, on my links in here in the description and I started to study practice a bit more I went to free code camp code academy a lot of different resources so I could practice and train my JavaScript skills and I could finally um, Of course finish the, the project and also what I did was I, I, I was um, asking for some help of the mentors in the Udacity Nano degree. This is another good thing that you can say, okay, I was seeking for some help for, from uh, senior developers that usually is a, is a good boost for your knowledge because you, you can learn a lot by yourself, but you can learn also a lot from senior people, okay? These people, they have a lot of knowledge, a, a lot of experience. They failed many times. That's why they have a lot of experience. And when they fail a lot, they learn a lot. That's why the, the senior developers, they have a lot of experience. Um, and this is something that you will face, of course. So this is, this is another, another kind of question they usually like to know. Um, another, another thing that, um, that they like to ask in an in a interview is, for example, uh, if you want to learn a new language this year, what kind of language would be and why? Um, <laughs> so this is, this, is, this is just to see, for example, what are what are your main goals is like uh, do you, do you want to keep learning things or you are just okay with what you know at the moment uh, so so for example i remember that when um, in previous like uh, interviews i was i was saying for example i want to learn uh, php for example because i already know a lot of the front end of um, of web development, so I wanted to discover a little bit more of the back end. So I wanted to learn PHP um, and understand how the back end works. So I, I could become a full stack developer. This was in the past, uh, some of the answers that I was giving about this. Um, so yeah, basically it's like to see like what's your goals uh, in web development. Do you want to keep learning more stuff? What you want to do is like, are you okay just to just you know what I mean? They, they will see if, if you really want to progress and get more knowledge uh, with, with this kind of question. And um, I, I don't know, there's is, there is like so many, I, I could just like go on and on. Another, another kind of question is, um, where, where would you see yourself in uh, five years, for example? Where, where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> one one thing that I, I've uh, I've seen a lot of people answering in this kind of uh, question is like oh in in five years maybe I would see myself 
building maybe my own company or something. <laughs> you can't say these kind of things because uh, if, okay, if you're going to say, oh, in five years, I'm going to be building my own company or starting my own uh, freelancing things, they will say, okay, this guy is going to come in here uh, just to learn a little bit and after he's, he's just going away or something. You, you can't say, you have to say that... Uh, uh, that you want to stay in there in the company, of course, and you really like the company. Um, and uh, you can say, for example, that in five years, I want to to learn a lot or to have a lot of more knowledge than what I have at the moment so I can help grow the company and I can progress myself inside of the company. Instead of being a junior developer, I can be a senior or a manager or something because uh, people in the companies, they like... People who are hungry for knowledge and for power that they can progress and help the company as well to progress. So this is another um, another good tip that you, you can get in these kind of um, questions. And I think I think I will just say one more question that usually they they um, ask a lot is um, why why did you why did you choose us why why did you apply for our company or why are you here and in here now this is like the a key moment for you to show what you really know about the company because you shouldn't go to an interview like this and uh, not know anything about the company so basically you before an interview you should go to their website to their linkedin First of all, try to discover who are the people who are going to interview you because most of the times you will know who are who is going to be your interviewers. So you can you can do a bit of a stalking. Uh, you can do Facebook, you can do LinkedIn, anything. Try to know a little bit more about these kind of persons and what they like. So you can build a bit of more rapport or how, how do they say, you know, like try to discover the things that they like and they see so you can put this on your... Um, on your interview because it's not faking it it's just like helping you to to get in and in the best position because for example i discovered that um, in one of my previous jobs that one of the interviewers he liked a lot he was on his linkedin that he liked optimization of the websites and everything and i actually had a project on optimization so this is something that I was mentioning all the time that, oh, I like to optimize websites and this is what I do and that and that and it helped me a lot. So this is something that you can do and also do a good research about the company itself. Uh, you have to know like when, when the company started. You, I mean, you don't have to know, but it, it makes you look even better when the company got started, around how many employers do they have? Uh, what are their core values, what they want to, to, to bring to, um, you know, when, when there is a company, they want to bring something to, to the market. Well, what do they want to, to achieve? What are their core values and targets? All of these kind of things they usually have on their website that you can just go there and learn a bit more. And if you, if you say all these kind of things, it will make you just stand out comparing to other developers that most of the times they go there and they just say, oh, I just apply because I need the money. Or <laughs> some, I, seriously, there is like some people who, who go there and they are just like this, yeah, because I, I just uh, feel like I like this position and I like the company, but they don't give any reasons. So if, if, you, if you do this kind of extra research, it will give you like a step ahead from these uh, other competitors that you might have. Um, and, th and that's it. Uh, and finally, finally, is just uh, they will they will ask you, for example, if you have any questions, any questions for them. Um, and this is another another good opportunity for you to to shine in there because if if you are going there, I see I've been in other. Um, other interviews with with people that we were recruiting, for example, in my last company, or uh, or, or even in this one when we were uh, recruiting uh, a senior developer to come in. Um, basically, some people they just go in there and and we ask them, okay, do you have any question or something? Um, and uh, they they don't say anything. Oh no, I don't have anything to ask. This just shows that they are not interested at all. 
and in here what you can do if they ask you do you have any questions for us okay you can ask for example look um, is, is it okay if you guys give me a tour around the office or um, or you can ask something like this um, What's the size of the team? Uh, how many people are working in here in the team? Do you have like many different sectors in here? Do you have like finance, human resources in here? Or is it just like an office for developers? Um, do you have any extra activities? Because there are, there are some companies who like to, to do some like social events, uh, taking out everyone for a dinner uh, once a while or for drinks or uh, for some kind of games, it can be football. I've seen uh, in my previous company, they were doing some football as well. Um, yeah, ask for these kind of things to, to know about what, what the employees do there, if uh, to see if they like it or not. Uh, yeah, things like this, they, they will just help you stand out. And like I said, this is just the social skills questions that they will ask you. And all of these will Help, the, help them to see if you are a right fit for the company or not. Because you have to understand something like this. I, I, I've been told this many, many times that uh, companies, they usually prefer someone who is like really sociable and really easy to talk to and uh, work with. And maybe someone that who does know a lot you know, like uh, he has some knowledge, but he's not like a complete genius rather than have, for example, a guy that uh, he knows a lot of stuff is is really good at what he's doing. But in the social skills, he can't have a conversation with someone or um, or explain something uh, is someone who is going to be in a bad mood in the office. People, they don't like to work with this kind of people. So even though if they have a lot of knowledge about something, if their social skills are, are not good enough, they are not going to get the job. I, I have heard about this many, many times and I was talking with, um, with my previous manager in, at ActiveWin, the previous company where I was working, because there was like 10 candidates for, uh, for the job that I was applying as a full stack web developer. And uh, I asked my manager, like, why did he pick me? And he said because he, he really liked my social skills that I was a really easygoing person to talk to. Um, and yeah, about like I was passionate about web development. And he said that even though I didn't have like maybe as much knowledge as other candidates who had uh, like uh, computer science degrees and everything, he said some of them, they were just going there with a arrogant attitude like they were asking them some kind of question and they, and they were like oh i know this this is so easy i do much more uh, advanced stuff and uh, things like this you just have to be humble in the interview if you don't know something just say i i don't know it but when i will get home i will just do my research and uh, try to learn a little bit more about it so I guess that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope I gave you a, a lot of um, value in here to how is usually like a, a web developer's interview, like the social skill questions. Of course, there is going to be like the practical questions to see your, um, your technical skills as well. But this is going to be for another video. And uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you like this video. If you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, Press the notification bell so you can see all the time when I upload a new video. And uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.